Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, joined by the queen of ABV, our friend of Anomyces, <laughs> and the general Guza, aka Henry. Uh, so, Brett was in Copenhagen for Swansea Day, but you were actually not at the Swansea Day event, were you? Yes, I was. You were? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, did you get to try the Lambic as well? Uh, no, but I tried <laughs> Magic Lambic instead, well, so. Yeah. Uh, but. <laughs> I don't know if the video had been posted of my experience, but it was crazy at Swansea Day. Uh, but Brett brought back some beers because there was some releases. Uh, actually, we got three bottles of Bottle Logic to review, which will be fun. But we're starting off with some juice from Equilibrium, and this is their D Hop 5. This is the highest rated IPA from Equilibrium. Double IPA. Double IPA. And it's on 8.5% and it's hopped with Galaxy and Citra. Yeah. So, And it's like three weeks old. It's like a super sized version of the Fractal with Citra and Galaxy. I really like the the new artwork direction they're going with Equilibrium. It looks a bit more professional, hmm. and especially the new one on the other can we have that looks. Yeah, really yeah. Good. So yeah, and they're all science themed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love beers. it. Yeah. So pours. What do you call the color on the beer? Hey, like. Uh, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty yeah. pin bright. Oh, it smells so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Pin bright yellow, white yeah. head. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, <laughs> and it's really nice. Oh. It's really juicy. Yeah. So much juicy melon. Yeah. Like, this is a melon bomb. Mm, Again, is. such a oh, man. big on esters, you know? Yeah. Like, it's so much ester profile. Yeah. What are you picking up? Mmm. Oh, melon, as I say, but also a bit, uh, a bit uh, citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. Citrus fruits. Almost like, for some reason, I'm getting like tropical fruit yogurt. Yeah. Vibe. Yeah. 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 Tropical fruit. Yogurt. Yeah, uh, and a bit of peach sorbet yeah. to me. Yeah. It has like a sorbet. I kind think of. it's the sweetness that makes me think of yo yogurt yeah. and or yogurt and the there's a like a tart hop quality to it as well that's yeah. Making me think of like yogurt. And it has like a touch of something yogurt. a bit sprucey, mm. I think. Yeah. Um and that's probably the galaxy. Mm, galaxy is not all juice, it depends no. on when you add it, but it smells fucking good. I wanna drink this. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm. Fuck, that is a. I don't think I've ever had a New England IPA with this much melon flavor. Oh. It is absolutely. It is pure concentrated like cantaloupe melon. Yeah. Fuck. There's so oh, much man. melon flavor. Yeah, it's just Holy like shit. if you took like cantaloupe and gallia and yeah. honeydew melon and just blended them together to craziness. Yeah. And so drinkable. Yeah. Yeah, for 8.5. No hot burn or mm. anything. That's. And I can get why that's what actual just, just like a slightly snappy bitterness. Yeah, it yeah. was more. I had it a week ago. The, uh, back then, it was of course more uh, bitter than it is now, but it's perfect right now. Yeah. It has that galaxy, mm. slightly sprucy finish. Yeah, spicy. Wow. Yeah, piney or whatever yeah. the finish. And there's like the whole tropical fruit yogurt is not there for me on the flavor mm. at all. It's like just a yeah. Overripe melon bomb mm. yeah. with some overripe like pie pie, 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 papaya maybe or something yeah. like that. But I, Regan and I also talked about papaya actually, uh, and it's in a, it has that really like like sweet, like creamy and silky mouthfeel. Yeah, well, maybe it's maybe even pink guava. Yeah, yeah, guava is very distinct. But mm -hmm. I see what you mean, but it, to me it's mostly just like a big melon bomb. I would have no problem chugging this can. Mm. Just like, I agree. <laughs> it's so drinkable. It's so drinkable. But yet so, you know, impressionable. impactful. Yeah. That's why you yeah. like him. That's why he likes him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 97, I think. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was thinking like a 98. It's fucking great. Yeah. I, I agree with Brett. Mm. Mm. I think it's. Some of the best. Yeah, double probably IPA. 98. Yeah, it's definitely fair. It is world time. class. It double is, IPA. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. really up there. It's better than the hobby beers I had in, in Germany, but we didn't have to. Well, we oh. had some other half. Oh. Uh, well, the Trillium collab was all uh, Trill, Green, Trill, whatever. It was called something weird. That was great. But that's my kind of, you know, crazy dink IPA. Yeah. This is like much more on the sweet side and very it's super mm -hmm. juicy, like juice bomb. Yeah. But super balanced as well, I think. Yeah, it's I mean, not too much. Yeah. This, this, and this, that's the bitterness, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It sounded maybe like it's 
mm. really sweet, but mm. it isn't because mm. it has that snappy actual bitterness in yeah. the finish. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's nice. So yeah, if you guys get the chance to get some D Hop Five from Equilibrium in your life, do so. It's fucking great. This is a world class double IPA, and if you want to experience the galaxy melon flavor everyone talks about, this is like the beer. Yeah, pretty mm. much. Yeah. So, if you guys had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it. As always, leave a comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. 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 See you guys in the video.